come down here to Scripps Beach near the pier. The concept really today is to uh, get reflections in the sand. This is the stretch of beach that uh, at low tide gives you know, it's a lot of nice flat sand. There's a good sky today. And so uh, that's why I'm out here uh, a little earlier than I normally would be. It's uh, mid-afternoon, but the nice puffy clouds in the sky. Rain is holding off, which is nice. Uh, it is brisk. There is a strong wind coming off the water, which uh, may or may not work out for me, given uh, that means that the clouds will be coming in from the ocean over land. And there's, there's not a lot out at the horizon right now. So I'm going to head north up the beach here, find a nice patch of uh, wet sand, and start looking for some reflections. The northern side of Scripps Beach here, north of the pier, at lower tides, there's some really nice rocks that get, get thrown up here and not thrown up here. They get exposed, you can see them. Uh, but that's not quite what I want for this particular photo. I want those reflections of the clouds. That's what's making today kind of special. But I gotta wait a little longer. Tide still has about another hour before it's low tide. That will give me more stretch of sand so I can get those nice reflections. They're shaping up pretty well. I just gotta give nature a little more time to do its thing. So I'll probably work these rocks a little bit while I'm uh, waiting for the tide to roll out. So I really like this triangular rock. I'm gonna need to play chicken a little bit with the water. Is uh, <laughs> I am not, uh, <laughs> I am not dressed to get wet. This can kind of make a curl. Oh, maybe I would go wider if I want that. What if I just want this stuff over here? This definitely needs water in it. I don't know if I'll be able to get like a, I don't know if I can get like a smooth, smooth things out because there's just not enough tide coming in. This is definitely floating with the ocean territory, but man, do I like that. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get set up somewhere to take advantage of this guy right here. And this is, this is manageable, this is doable. All right. Let's get that going. Well, uh, my little protected perch there uh, didn't protect me from the right stack up of waves. Not that this surf is threatening my life, but it did soak my boots higher than the ankle and the jeans I'm wearing because I hadn't planned on getting wet, so soggy feet for the rest of this shoot but at least at least i think i like one of the photos that came away from that so uh, i'll be dry in a little while and i'll have that photo for a lot longer i can't decide if i want the cliffs in it that really it really does bring everything together foreground element and then i do need to think about staying kind of dry so this could work. I go really wide. What if I bring the camera down here? So I can do that with the tripod. Oh, that's nice. All right, let's take a few of these and see what makes the most sense. It's just, ah, this, this one by itself is kind of, it's kind of bulky. I don't know. But then I, I'm not getting enough reflection over there. I don't, I don't think this is gonna work as well. There's this little, patch of sand with a couple of rocks peppering through it. There's enough sand to give good reflections for the foreground, uh, but still these uh, these individual rocks breaking it up just enough to give some interest here. So this might be where I set up for, uh, for my reflection shot. I got about 30 minutes before the tide hits its lowest point, gives me the most opportunity for a smooth, shiny sand. So a little bit of scouting here, and uh, then I, I, think, I think I'll be setting up here. This is nice too. Just a different set of lines. Wow. It's incredible how much things change just by changing your position. Kind of, I got the line of basically the skyline reflecting down here. Giving me a nice lead into the scene. 
and then the cliffs themselves are reflecting too. Ooh, options, but I do need to pay attention to that surf. Oh, I'm already wet, so maybe it doesn't matter. I think I'm going to stick with the grouping that's over my left shoulder, that sheen of sand. That's the spot I'm going to get the most reflections. Uh, it's a little less beach than I would like. I would like to have that, uh, that more of a foreground. I'll exaggerate that with the wide lens, you know, push the mid-ground pretty far back, just going like really wide, like 16 millimeter or so. But that's the spot where I'm going to find the, the, the best option for these reflections here. Uh, the, the, the choppy surf is just pushing the water up farther into the sand than, uh, than I guess I'd hoped for. I wanted like a, a longer, longer stretch with, with more reflection. But this is what I'm getting here, and I, I, I still think the shot could work out. So while I'm still perched here in this same spot, what's happening is the clouds are moving around and that is changing the composition because of the reflection. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting uh, to just watch things unfold. So it is a matter of taking a few photos and finding out which one ultimately looks uh, the most pleasing compositionally wise because the, the lines change in the scene as the clouds change position in the sky. about 20 minutes before sunset. The sun's like peeking in and out of the clouds there. Not sure if the color's gonna hold. Uh, there's a pretty healthy layer of clouds at the horizon. But no matter, today has been successful. It's been a good outing. I got those reflections I was after. A couple other things I think I'll enjoy. So I'm gonna hang here and uh, just take it all in. And uh, yeah, enjoy the, the rolling surf.